Right, we're taking a new camera for a spin today, so if you notice anything different, good or bad, let me know down in the comments here. That one last week was a bit hairy, wasn't it? Only just about made it in the nick of time. So this week, I'm gonna take my preparation incredibly seriously. What? Yeah, that was a bit of a gag, but uh, you know what they say, you should never eat on an empty stomach. No way that doesn't sound right. We made it, the blue cow in. And this is what we're doing today. Yeah, it's a, a good old fashioned fry up challenge. It's been a while. I mean, I've done about 200 of these, but it has been a while. And uh, despite quite a lot of people saying they could do it, nobody has managed to do it yet, so. I'm here to come to the rescue, hopefully. I don't know if I like this camera. It's a lot heavy. Wait, this is a toilet. Spooky. Did I just come in the right way? Is that like the back entrance or something? Look again. You do. Hi. Hi. How's it going? You are right, I think you are, aren't you? Uh, maybe. YouTuber? Yes, yeah. I, uh, I can't really do your, your breakfast challenge. Yeah, Is that okay? Yeah. Anywhere? Hello, mate. You alright, mate? At first I thought I'd stumbled into like a Freemasons meeting or something, because you just kind of <laughs> looked at me like, you shouldn't be here. The landlord tried it, and he, he couldn't finish it. Very close. <laughs> what are you making a video about, mate? Um, they have this thing here where if you eat like a really big breakfast, you yeah. get it for free. And you win a t-shirt. What are you gonna have the breakfast? I'm, I'm gonna try, yeah. 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 Bloody hell's bells. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? With the... I've heard rumours that it is massive, yeah. You look a little bit skeptical. Is it my small frame? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm a little bit slight, it has to be said. What do you reckon you think I could do it? You don't think I could do it? Well, at least you could say it. You could, you could at least pretend that you think I could do it. Yes. No? <laughs> I've, I've got a 50 pound veg that you may not it. $50 says I'm not going to eat this burger. $50! <laughs> Five zero! Just been for a look in the kitchen and the, um, the sausages look rather large. You know when you think of breakfast sausages? No, 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 they're, they're much bigger. You could probably kill somebody with one of these sausages. They're huge. Eight inches. Yeah. Something my fiance could only dream of. <laughs> I really don't want you to fall over, but it's a possibility. It's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. It looks yummy, though. You will not do it. I won't do it. I said 10. You certain? Certain. It's substantial. There's a lot of peas and, not peas, beans. Beans and tomatoes and chips. Do you reckon he's, he's actually gone to the toilet or do you think he's just kind of skipped out the back? All right. I thought I'd, somebody has escaped on a 50 quid bet with me before, actually. <laughs> I think it was in Miami somewhere. Right, I'm at a place called the Blue Cow Inn, which is in South Witham, which is called the Brecky Challenge. Yeah. And you get, how long do you get to finish? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 28 quid? Yeah. And if you complete it, then it's free. Did you get a t-shirt or did I just? Yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought I dreamt that for a second. You do get a t-shirt. <laughs> Sweet. I don't think you can do it in the time. To the tune of 50 pounds. Am I on camera? Uh, you're on that one, yeah. <laughs> you... I've got 50 pounds on that. <laughs> 50 quid. Who's <laughs> gonna? Three, two, one, go. All right, let's go with the eggs. Yeah, seems like an appropriate place to start. And this fella has a crisp 50 nicker on me, not finishing. Wonder if he's gonna try and escape halfway through like Tony the Chef did back in Florida a few years back. <laughs> Put the television on, please, and loud music. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen anyone eat eggs like that before? No. How many of you eat? All of them. Wait till you see me eat sausages. <laughs> Might want to look away. Sound advice. Something tells me he's going to be watching like a hawk the whole time, though. Not unlike the staff. And uh, if you're wondering, this thing is essentially a large toasted ciabatta roll topped with loads of typical English breakfast ingredients. 
and uh, some chips on the side too for some reason. I want the music on, loud music and television on to dis disrupt your doing. <laughs> you regret it already. I've only been gone about a minute. These are kind of like fish and chip shop sausages, yeah. which I actually prefer to, you know, regular breakfast sausages. That's unique. I like it. Tactical decision here. I'm gonna try and uh, moisten up the sandwich, and then maybe. I'm gonna try at least to eat like a sandwich. Well, the Shabbat is gonna make it a little bit harder than it otherwise would be. Quite crusty. Oh yeah, you could, you could hear that. That's the fly in the ointment with this one. The roll is quite a bit harder to get through than regular toast. Look at that big sandwich. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Will you promise me one thing? Stay in school so you don't end up doing something like this for a job. Yeah, you could be like a lawyer, a doctor, something useful. Not an internet clown. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a girl that eats lots and lots of food. <laughs> hey, look at that. Beard meets food. Perennial overeater and part-time careers counsellor to toddlers. Solid advice though, I'm sure you'll agree. That doesn't look like 50 quid there in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't completed the mission yet, mate. <laughs> Gonna get you, He's right. Despite being three pints deep at midday on a Thursday, there's nothing wrong with this bloke's powers of perception. There's plenty left, but the food tastes good, which uh, is not always the case when it comes to fry ups, so I'm feeling positive. In case you missed it at the start, by the way, you get 30 minutes to finish, and if you do, not only is the 28 quid meal free, but you get a slick winner's shirt too. Not to mention, in this case, if I play my cards right, who knows? I might get my hands on 50 quid from that fella's pension annuity. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Plenty of stuff to go though, still a big pile of chips and some of the sloppy stuff. The ciabatta roll is what makes this hard. It's really, really chewy. <laughs> How long have I been going, boss? Uh, eight minutes twenty. Eight minutes twenty. <laughs> Don't think it's looking too good for you, John. <laughs> but the chips can be a killer. Yeah, there's a lot of chips to go. We'll see. Oh. Quite a lot of beans as well. Not really, but it sounds catchy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's his birthday. That's his birthday. He knew what it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, I've got to say, I didn't think the alias would uh, would stick quite so well, but here we are. Just the chips and beans to finish off now. That's some pile, though. Fortunately, the beans should help send them down largely unobstructed. Whew. Chips are going down pretty easy. I thought they'd be the toughest part, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is a couple of them. Uh, yeah. The mushrooms kind of went when I ate the sandwich, because I thought, you know, I don't really like mushrooms. In fact, I hate them, so <laughs> but if I eat them with everything else, it won't be that bad. It's a good tactic, it worked. Your tummy is looking a lot bad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fat shape, <laughs> Well, yeah, all this grub's got to go somewhere. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. What time am I? You know what time I'm on, boss? Uh, Thirteen fifteen.
All right, this is Beer Beats Food, and that was an easy way to earn 50 quid. Now I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the, uh, the Blue Cowtains Brecky Challenge. You're 4.4 seconds of five time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you know me pretty well then? <laughs> I'm very, very, very impressed with you. I want to shake your hand before I go out that door. You don't want to, there better be a, there better be a 50 pound note in it. No, I'm joking. I don't think you want, I don't, I don't think you want to shake that hand. We'll, I'll, I'll wash them off. Only one question remains. Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, man. Right and uh, thanks for the discouragement. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> From the start, it was discouragement. Yeah, yeah, but you came around pretty quick, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in about 50 seconds. <laughs> Have a good day, man. And you. This is quite a, it's quite a wedge of fudge cake as well. I'm sure I'll enjoy it, though. Oh, oh yummy. Good? It's good fudge cake, yeah. Oh, the t-shirt's coming now. Yep. What does it say on it? Mm. Breaky challenge, I came, I ate, I conquered. I like it, I like the cow on the front. Cheers, thanks, I appreciate it. No problem. It was really nice to meet you all. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank See you very much. No, no worries, no worries. I thought it was going to be harder than it was. Delicious grub. In case you're wondering, um, yeah, I didn't take 50 quid off that old bloke. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite funny how, uh, how quickly he, uh, he started to regret the bet though. Ugh. Right, homeward. <laughs> You're not leaving are you John? Not before I finish my chocolate cake. Yeah. No, I've only got threatens on that. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got threatens on that.